Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel if you're new here hit that subscribe button we're going to jump right in today we are going to make a mug very simple but we'll learn a few new tools on the way so we're going to start off with a cylinder we're just going to leave it as default I'm just going to move it up so over there um, okay if you hit the decimal point on your keypad that will zoom in to the active object and then I'm just going to hit the tab um, to go into edit mode or you can come up here and change that to edit mode uh, we'll keep it on vertex if yours isn't uh, no we need faces and then we're going to hit that top face so first of all we're going to hit the eye for inset and we're just going to bring it in like so and then we're going to extrude we want to extrude on the z we're going the blue so the blue is z um so e and then z and then it comes straight on down there like so so that's the inside of our cup and uh, now what you'll notice on a cup is um, there's probably no sharp edges well I'd like to think there aren't any um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit number two which will give us in our um, edge select or you can select it up at the top left hand corner there and then we're going to hit alt keep your finger on alt and left click so that will select all the edges on the outside and then shift alt and select those edges on the inside there and then what we're going to do is Control B, which is the bevel tool. We'll give it a bit of a bevel like that. And then if we go into the toolbar down at the bottom here, we can increase the segments so it gives it a little bit more rounded. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, so that will give us that. You can use the bevel tool in the modifier. Um, we've got a bevel tool there, so you can go in there. Okay now what we want to do is create the handle so how i do this is shift a we're going to create a curve a bezier curve okay so just drag it out and uh, we want to rotate so hit r y and 90 and then hit return when you're done and then we will just rotate that round on the Z R Z two seventy. So at least we're facing in like that. And then if do shift and then if you've got a middle, if you've got a middle mouse button, you can do shift and move it up and down. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is create the handle. So we need to go into edit. Make sure the um, curve is selected hit the tab button so we're going to edit and then we're going to start moving this around now I'm going to go into um, the side viewport you can hit number hit number one on your on your number pad or just hit the green um, circle up there okay so we're just going to come in like so and then with these and vertices we can just sort of bring the curvature around so we're just going to make a we're just going to make this into a, um, like a handle shape really um, so we'll just sort of come down here um, that one I just want to come down and out a bit like so I'm just going to move it in a little bit further and then when obviously when you're happy with your with the shape that you've made um, what we need to do I mean I'm, I'm happy with that so then we come down here to the curve data properties okay and then in geometry if we go down to the bevel and then if you change that you can see the the handle change in its shape so i'm just going to go to maybe 
one like that okay you can then um, expand it a little bit maybe just bring that back down actually so obviously don't want to don't want a massive handle that you can't grab hold of and then just there we go that looks better that looks better to me and once you're happy with your handle you can go up to object and then if you come down here you've got convert to now we want to convert it to a mesh now once you've converted to mesh you can't change anything you can't change the curve so make sure you're happy with your curve um, and then we can convert it convert to mesh now when you hit that mesh you'll see that the you will not have this um, icon anymore it will change to a mesh it will just disappear okay so we want to change it to mesh and there we go your bezier curve you can no longer edit it unless of course you do an undo and then that will go back to your curve there you go you see so I just want to just wanted to show you that um, and I want to convert to a mesh so now that we've ever converted it to mesh we've got all these edges vertices faces okay and um, we now need to join this up to the cup so we need to select this select the handle and shift and select your mug and then if you do control J which is join now these two are like one item so if you click the edit and if you move it around it's like all one item so now we need to go into edit mode right so how many vertices have we got on here how many have we got um okay so we have i guess that's 14 so what we need to do is make the same number um let me just we need the overlays and statistics there we go okay so we've got 12 we've got 12 selected there alt and left click and as you can see here we've got 12 vertices selected so if you want this to come up you just go into the overlay and tick statistics you can just switch it on and off however you like um, and what we need to do is on the cup here we need to do maybe a loop cut here so what we're going to do is just going to match try and match the handle here okay um, and then we need one in the center there and we need one here oh, and one here da, da, da. yeah that's cool that's cool right so hopefully oh, we should have 12 selected that's cool that's cool so we just need to add another one, two, three, four, five loop cuts down the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we just got to bring these down just like we've done at the top there. Okay, one in the center. This one here. And this one here and we can see where we're going to be lined up so 
hits number three for faces and um, we're just going to select this little lot here and delete faces and the same here one two three four five six seven eight delete faces i'm just going to go into cavity and both because you get to see the edges a little bit better um, just make sure that is switched on. Yes, it's cool. Right now, go into vertices mode. So we'll select these two. Select like all the edge, all the corner ones. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scale on the Y. So this is the Y. Okay, scale on the Y just to bring them in like that. Okay, same again on these. So I'm just going to bring those in as well. So it gives us a little circle scale in on the Y. And maybe on the Z. Oh, okay, so let's... Um, so we can just do one at a time on here. One the top first. Scale on the Z. So it's looking more circle-ish if you like. Just bring those up. And those down. Scale on the Z. And we need to do the same at the bottom here. One, two, three, four. Scale on the Z just to make it there we go. I'm happy with that. Once you're all happy, um, what we need to do is go back into or go into edges mode, Alt, and select the loop of. So press Alt and left mouse button, and then maybe just scale it down a tad. And the same here, Alt, left click, scale down a little bit, and then. We're going to extrude on the X slightly and scale in. Okay, and do the same here. Extrude on the X and scale on in. Now, this is the good part because what we're going to do now is join this all up. So we can go, we can, you can either do this in vertices or edges. And basically, we're just selecting this one first, right? So the handle, always the handle first, and then the mug second. And then you can click on, you can right click, come down to, oh no, we're gonna have to do it in vertices. So handle, and then mug, right click, and then merge vertices at last. Okay, so just do that. Right click, merge vertices at last. Um, the shortcut is <coughs> the shortcut is M. So you can just left click, shift, left click, M at last, and just keep doing that until you've done completely all the way round, which shouldn't take too long if you use the shortcuts. M. 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 And don't forget to do it at last. Oops. Um, at last, I mean, you can you can obviously do it the other way round. It doesn't matter as long as you, as long as it all connects up, but as, keep it all consistent. Um, and so quick and easy to do. Just don't forget which way round you're doing it. <laughs> Uh, 
almost becomes a bit of a, a pattern as you go if you can keep it going like really well <laughs> dit, 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 dit. <laughs> obviously got to be careful on which vertices you're selecting but nearly done just two more to go and this one boom at last there we go okay so there's our mug right now what we need to do is come out of edit we can go to um, W uh, not W right click smooth shade but also what you may want to do is go to modifier add modifier and subdivision and it gives you a bit of a smoother finish um, I'm just gonna crank that up to two You don't want to crank it up too much, otherwise it um, slows your computer down and may crash. So next we're going to do Control R at the bottom here, because as you can see it's a little bit janky. So Control R, and then bring it down to the bottom, which gives you a nice beveled end there. And then Alt and select edges, Alt. So we want to select all the bottom ones here and then I to inset so it just gives it a nice pinched curve there and the same on the inside here we need to do that so control R and then just take it down to the bottom there and then although you can't see it just select that and then I and there you go you got a nice little nice little beveled in fact we need to do it at the top here because it looks all pinched here so I'm just going to take that up to the top to get rid of that. And that is absolutely wonderful. I'm happy with that. Once you're happy with your mug there, you can give it a little bit of colour. Should you wish. I'm going to um, render. Where's my light? There it is, let's bring that round. G. And bring that round the front here. And up. I'm just going to change that to an area light because I like area lights. And then we're just going to crank that up. And that up. Let's. Take off the rotation a minute and then we can give it our own rotation like so. Do our own lighting. God damn it. Okay, so Blender crashed on me and I didn't save, so that's one thing I recommend doing is save 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 so i've had to redo the mug again um yeah so i've adjusted the light uh we're just gonna move it over there we're just gonna bring in a floor shift a mesh I'm gonna bring in a plane uh just scale that up um like so what you can also do is just reset is scales um, yeah the toolbars if you press N that will bring up and make your toolbar disappear and then on this one here it's T shortcut is T um, so let's just put that on again right um, yeah so if we give us our plane go into edit hits number two for edges select that edge extrude on the Z so we're giving it like a um, infinity background if you like do control B to bevel I'll probably give it a few more segments and I would shade smooth um, you can obviously make it bigger 
Um, lighting I would probably just bring that around a little bit more. Maybe out. Obviously, lighting you can do whatever you pretty much like. Um, you can have a one one light set it set up or a free light depending on you. Um, so with mine, I let's just give the mug a material different color. Let's see what looks good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Would you have a red mug? Yeah, that looks pretty cool, I think. Um, so I'm just going to go add in denoising. You can go into viewport. This is a relatively new thing. You can see um, there's quite a bit of noise in the image but if you select viewport automatic it gets rid of all the noise uh, denoising yeah <laughs> does what it says <laughs> um yeah so we just need to give it a little bit of a shine um so let's take off roughness let's add in Metallic, do it. Mm, it's doing something there. It's giving it a bit of a bit of a sheen there and a bit of a reflection. You can turn off the overlays up here on the right hand side. Show overlays, just switch them off. That gets rid of your grid. And then if you want to hide all your cameras and lighting and everything else. I'll just switch that and that will just give you your mug um, yeah I'm quite happy with that and then you can just render it out if you want um, alternative if you want to use alternate different type of lighting if you go into world properties um, and use a where am I an environment texture and then um, I'll put a link a link below of where I get my HDR images from. Um, but I've got one of a Photo Studio, which lights is quite a, um, effective lighting. Maybe it just needs to be turned down a bit. Point two. Yeah, that's better. So it gives it an all-round lighting really in fact if we just zoom out you can see the HDR image <laughs> so there we go that's what the image that they, I use um, so it just gives it all round lighting which is pretty cool and there you go look nice little mug for you as I say I will put a link below if you've got any comments drop them below um, and I will reply to you as soon as I can if you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it all helps our little channel helping helping you guys and girls out there learn Blender. We're on Blender 2.91, which is the latest stable release. There are obviously experimental versions on Blender.org. Um, but yeah, all good. If you, As I say, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.